What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, I said I'd have some moon videos coming up. Well, this is the first of three and they're all AI enhanced. Now in my podcast is you can be really careful about using AI programs because depending on the filters you use, you can literally add things to the photo. You can take away details from a photo. So you got to be pretty much spot on when you do this or you don't use it at all. You want to have the closest you can to the original but yet enhance it, make it clearer. Now, this first one is from Apollo 16, and they call it House Rock. Now, I have done this particular rock in another video, and you're going to see this. But when I did the AI Enhanced, there's something I didn't notice before, and I thought it was really, really wild. So why don't we get into that, check this out, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, you can see it right here. This is a video. This is somebody else's video. And you can see it right here, Apollo 16 House Rock. Now, you can see the, it's not very good quality, by the way, but you can see the two astronauts, one here and one here. Now, they were up on this hill looking down at this rock. And, of course, they go down the hill and they say, oh, man, this is a big rock. Oh, my God. And I'll give you the link to this so you can check this video out yourself. But to me, I always thought this is really bizarre looking. When you see this, how does that cut out in this rock? How does anybody take that as just natural? There's no way this thing's natural. Okay, so... Why don't we go into Photoshop? I'm going to show you folks the side by side with the raw photo. In fact, I can show you this right here. Okay, when I seen this, I said, okay. Again, I've done a video on this, and I thought this is very bizarre because I went, who looks at that and says that cutout looks normal? There's just no way, right? Okay, so let's get rid of that and go into Photoshop. Okay, here's the difference right here. You got Apollo 16, House Rock, raw photo to your left, AI enhanced to the right. Look at the difference in clarity on the right, okay? And it's pretty much held to the original, if you want to call it that, because it's, it's almost like they purposely did a low res, and we know the Hasselblads were better quality. It would take a lot better photo, right? But anyway, so we can look at this right here on the left. Zoom in a little bit. It's blurry. It's not the best. And everybody goes, well, you know, it's from Apollo 16. We go back some years, so chances are, it's going to be a garbage photo. Not true at all. Again, the Hasselblads were cutting edge back then. They still make a great camera. So that's BS. But again, folks, the cutout. Look at this. I don't believe for a moment that that looks natural at all. Okay. We're going to look at the edge here. And you'd swear to God, it should say face rock, not house rock, because this thing looks like it has, it could be like a like eyes and hair and, and teeth. And you'll see what I'm talking about when we get into this. Slide over to the AI Enhanced. And have a look at this. Now, what I found interesting about this is when you look at these whited areas, you can see it right here. It's like they put something over it right here to try to hide this actual solid item. Like I said, going like this, right? So when you look at that, this should be all one piece, but they got this gray or this darkened area over it. But that's not the only one. Okay. You can see it doing this. So it's almost like they just put something over that. Or was it built this way? And what I mean by that is when you look at this whole object, is it possible, because they did call it a house rock, that this is actually a structure? The astronauts, when they go down there, look not tiny, but pretty small compared to this thing, right? Is it possible these things were like some kind of weird uh, housing or some kind of structure to house something else, mechanical otherwise, right? And the reason why they use rock is for what? Insulation from the sun's radiation. Is it possible that's what this is for? And this is actually normal for structures on the moon. Because we've said this before where it looks like things on the moon, they're made like there's like rock covering the top of these structures. And one of the videos is going to show this as well that I've got coming up. You'll see that. All right. So let's enhance this a little bit. So not only did I take the AI enhanced, but I also enhanced a little bit more myself to try to drag out more details. So let's brighten it up a little bit. This is the part that kind of blew my mind. I'm going to slide over here for a second. This area right here. Now, when, again, when you look at this, you go, what is going on here? Okay. But there's something else in here, folks. After this, you can't unsee it. 
This is like a darkened area inside here, and it's white around the edges like this. Slide over back to the AI, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I never noticed this before, and you can see it in this photo as well. Just barely, but we're going to enhance it. Okay, and again, darkened area here. White, 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 or at least lighter, right? Okay, so let's get into this. Again, lighten it up a little bit. Get the whole thing. Okay, now folks, see what happens when you burn this? You get a color that really pops out. Now, keep in mind, this is an RGB, even though when you slide to the original RAW, what do you see? I see zero colors. All I see is black and white, or gray and white, if you will. But when you actually try to burn this, this is what happens. So what I noticed was this white piece, it looks like it's going across like this. Okay, that's white. But then this other object right here, or some kind of shaped item, okay? Again, this is darker, and you can see what looks like a whiter area around this darkened area. What could this be, okay? Okay, so what we're going to do now is go to the next stage in the enhancement, and we're going to try to burn and use midtones, see if we can bring out more details. Okay, black and white, get rid of any colors. We don't want it to trick the eyes. Keep going. Okay, folks, there's much more to this photo than meets the eye. This right here, if you notice this area right inside, right here, this is a manipulation, folks, because you can see something, just a little bit of white right there, white corner, but guess what? Look at it, it keeps going inside here. So from here, you've got this little bit of sliver of white, but there is a white shaped item. If I was to take this back away, you can see that right here going across and then it stops. We also have these up here, like I said, I'm gonna zoom into this so you folks can see this a little bit better. Again, we have this, this area here doing this, going across, looks like it goes up. There's another white one here, okay? And if you look, there's some other white pieces right here. Again, it looks like they put some manipulation over this. Okay, so now let's fully enhance this and have a better look. Okay, again, if I was to back out now, this looks like the more of a face rock than a house rock, right? Because now if we go back here, goes across, goes up, and again, whited areas all around this darker area here. It almost looks like this is a mouth here, and then this is teeth. However, I don't think that's what this thing really is, obviously. I believe that these are different parts of something else. We just can't see it. There's so much manipulation in here, it's not even funny. And you would say, well, why would they do that? How would they do that back in, you know, late 60s, early 70s? Well, here's the thing. You know, a lot of these photos they went back to probably in the 70s and 80s. They may have done it knowing that at some point, the average computer user or any other technology, because it could be a phone, you know, will be able to enhance this. So they had to jump back into this so that they can manipulate it and take this stuff out. Because all they're going to do is frame by frame by frame and cover this up and still keep the astronauts in it, right? But folks, th just this area alone, I didn't recognize before. We can go back to the original and you can see this does have a, like a blue tinge compared to this one. Imagine that. But regardless of the color, I could care less. It's the difference between the quality from the raw to the AI enhance. So again, have a look at that area right here. And we'll just go ahead and do this again. Now, I didn't enhance this part. And I can still see it very faintly, but it is actually there. These pieces actually there. If I was to back out a little bit, it will clear up a little bit. And you'll see that right here. These pieces are right here. This, again, these right here, I believe they're parts of something that's right here. Because, again, there's another piece sitting right here. We almost broke through this piece here, but not quite. So I believe these are part of something, not this, but down here. And it just has that weird look to it, like it's an actual face as opposed to what? A house rock. I'm going to go ahead and set this right here. Folks, have a look with your magnifiers and your eyepieces and tell me what you think. Folks, when I seen this rock, I was just like, what? Just that rectangular or that weird shape cut out? Come on. What rock's going to do that in nature? No way, no how. So, like I said, I'll reiterate. When I said, is it possible on the moon that they use stone covering? That's the way their structures are built 
to just try to keep away any of the sun's radiation, right? And it's a very good possibility, right? Because if you were to go X amount of feet underground, you're basically insulated from any radiation. It may be stone. I'm 50-50 about that. But you can see where they manipulated the photo, right? And you can see it on the ground and the way they did this. They definitely 100% went back over these photos that were taken in the late 60s, early 70s. They just said, listen, again, people are going to get computers. They're going to break these photos down. They're going to see this with ease. We need to do something about it. So they went back into these and there's like different generations of these photos. And if you were able to get a hold of any of these first generation photos, then uh, that's awesome. The likelihood is probably zero. This is intelligently made. It's been manipulated, so you can't really tell what it is, but you can tell that's not normal. That's not natural, and that's without doing any kind of enhancement to that thing. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, we do have two more moon videos coming up, so stay tuned for that. You're going to like these too. With that, thanks for watching. Always appreciated, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.